In this video, we are going to see how to launch Trend IQ Vision software using step-by-step -step methods part 1. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube channel. Launch the IQ Vision application. Before launching the application, you should first run the install platform daemon for IQ Vision setup from the Trend Control Systems installed folder. After the display shows the Niagara service has been successfully installed, close the window. Note, open the services control and search for the Niagara option, right click the Niagara option and select the properties, ensure the startup type is in automatic mode. Then click OK. Double click the this PC icon. Then go to local disk C after double click the trend control system folder. Then double click on the IQ Vision version 2.60 folder, and finally double click the IQ Vision icon. Or double click the IQ Vision icon on the desktop and wait a few minutes. After the IQ Vision application window will open, it will indicate the system host ID, software version, and Niagara version. Desktop interface, the menu bar will have these options File, Edit, Search bookmarks, tools, windows, and help. This is the toolbar, this is the locator bar, this is the nav tree, this is a palette, this is the view changer, and this is the view pane. Open the platform. To access tools like the application director and station copier you need to open the platform. This will require you to log in using the same credentials used to log in to the PC. Note. It is not necessary to open the platform in order to create a new station. 1. In the nav tree right click my host and choose open platform. The connect dialog box is displayed. 2. In the type box select platform TLS connection. Leave other settings at their default values. 3. Click OK. The authentication dialog box is displayed. 4. An identity verification dialog box may be displayed first. If this happens click the accept button to continue. If a cannot display page error appears, ensure that the platform daemon has been installed. 5. Enter the username and password that you would normally use to log in to the PC. Note, for security it is recommended that the remember these credentials box is left unchecked. 6. Click OK. A platform item will now exist in the nav tree. Expand the My Host folder to see it, and a summary of platform objects will be displayed in the view pane. 7. Proceed to create a new station. Create a new station. A new IQ Vision station needs to be created. This will hold all the configuration settings for all your connected trend and third party networks including point data and px pages 1 from the tools menu select new station the new station wizard is displayed 2 under station templates click the required template for this instance of iq vision 3 type a suitable name in the station name box note if a station already exists with that name you will be prompted to delete the existing station you must select yes to proceed, click next. 4. Click set password. The set password dialog box is displayed. 5. Type a password in the password box. Note, this password is for the default admin user and should be reserved for engineer use. The password must have a minimum of 10 characters and include at least one capital letter, one lowercase letter and one numeral. Six. Retype the password in the confirm box. Click OK. 7. Select the copy it to secure platform for locale lost with station copier option. 8. Click finish. The platform authentication dialog box is displayed. 9. Enter your username and password, login credentials of the PC, and click OK. 10. Station transfer wizard dialog box is displayed. 11. If a station with the same name already exists, you will first be prompted how to proceed. 12. Specify the required option. 
13. Click Next. A dialog box enabling you to specify the startup options is displayed. 14. Select the required startup options, start after install and auto start, click Next. 15. Click Finish. A progress update is displayed. 16. When the process is complete, click Close. The Open Application Director dialog box is displayed. 17. Click Yes. The Application Director is displayed. 18. Check the status for the station. This will depend on whether or not you chose Start After Install in Step 16. 19. Check the station name, type, status, details, auto start and restart on failure options. In the next video, we will see how to configure the station. Well, I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our video. Have a great day.